Mark here on creating a digital life and today's video I wanted to dedicate to a certain topic called working long hours and why you should not be doing them especially in the long term now <clears throat> just to be clear I wanted to emphasize that in everyone's life there comes a period of time where they need to keep working hard and long hours just to stay alive and to provide resources for themselves or for the family. However, when it comes to doing this in the long term, the negative effects and also the detriment that it can do to your everyday life is far greater than what you can actually enjoy from them. Whether that's the resources you gain, the money or the power or authority, any of that, it's not worth the cons uh, what the consequence might be when coming to working long hours. So I wanted to talk about this in a long, uh, bit of a detail. So when it comes to working long hours, I have actually pretty good experience because working within sales or recruitment requires a tremendous amount of your effort, energy to spend sometimes 60, 70 or even 80 hours a week just to keep you productive and working on whatever you want. But the truth is that even though if you are earning a great amount of money, you are not prioritizing what's most important, which is health, yourself, and the ones that you care about the most. With working and with always being busy, it might be ideal if you're doing something that you're actually passionate about, your hobby, your interests, anything relatable, because you feel like you're actually working on something that you are interested in, that you want to devote your energy to. However, when it comes to working within a nitty-gritty corporate environment, it can actually have a double-sided negative, negative effect because not only are you wasting time away from yourself, but also having a detrimental effect on your, let's say, brain function, you're not having enough rest, and as a matter of fact, you will feel very much depressed in the long run because you are negliging essentially the basic needs that you have. Now, I know it's easier said than done because some people do not have a choice, but I just wanted to share maybe one or two tips that can help focusing on what matters to you and maybe just cut down this kind of lifestyle so that you can actually enjoy what you are given. So one of the things that I would recommend is stop multitasking and aiming for perfection. Why? Because number one, the human brain is actually not capable of multitasking, no matter what anyone else says. Actually, it has been proven scientifically that the brain is actually really good at switching between tasks, which see may seem like you're actually doing multiple tasks at once. But that's never the case. So do not fall into the trap of actually believing you're multitasking ever. The second thing I would recommend is with the perfectionism, there's no such thing as perfect product, service, presentation, I don't know, anything that you, comes to your mind. This is a word that we came up with and it does not exist. So therefore, do your best as much as your uh, self-conscious allows you. And if you're happy with the result, just admit it. That's where you should leave it. The other thing that I would say is try to learn saying no to certain requests and certain tasks that you want, uh, wanted to achieve. Why? Because what happens is you're actually putting the task, the job ahead of yourself, whereas it's actually you who's producing the results. And if you're neglecting yourself and your own needs rather, and rather focusing on the task, the job, whatever kind of project you want to get into, then in the long term, it's going to have a detrimental effect, as in being sleep deprived, depressed, less productive, and therefore stressing about not being able to complete any project whatsoever. This is one of the reasons, actually, why I started the digital life as well, why I wanted to embark on this journey, among many things, because with the digital life, you have to realize that you're still working a certain amount of uh, hours, but far less than what the average corporate requires you to do when it comes to, let's say, 9, 10, or even sometimes 12-hour shifts per day, sometimes even seven days a week. It's not sustainable to do this in the long run. So why would you put your body and your uh, health as well as your life under this kind of stress? Like I said, some people do not have a choice and do need to live this kind of life, unfortunately. But maybe with the some, uh, tips and techniques that I mentioned, 
you may be able to cut it down with just a bit so you can actually enjoy what is given to you. So I hope you found it useful and insightful what I offered in this video. I will, as usual, leave the links down in the description. You like this video, then feel free to subscribe and push that like button. It really helps out a lot. If you have any comments, feel free to share. Always happy to listen to your uh, feedback. And as always, take care, have a nice day, and I will see you around.